Can we talk a little bit about specializations in this course? First, you can do your PhD under somebody. You can intern and you know, get experience. You can work in research labs. You can work in the industrial sector. You can work in... There's lots of aspects, to be honest. Right. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm at the moment in Halle and uh, I'm sitting here with, what's your name? Isha. Isha, what are you studying? I'm studying Masters in Pharmaceutical and Industrial Biotechnology. It's been how long that you're here now? Uh, about eight months. Eight months? Yeah. How's it been? It has been a roller coaster for sure. There was like a few months where like, you know, in the beginning there was like lots of adjustment period, lots of homesickness, lots of things to deal with. But now I think it's better. Okay, okay. Give me your introduction, talk about subjects, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. I want to address the elephant in the room. What do you want to do when you complete? this course mm. one second i want to know how is the job market for your field mm. okay so obviously we know that uh, germany is very very advanced in research and genetic research and uh, industrial research basic what i want to do is i want to get into drug research and gene manipulation and stem cell research and all of that that's why i thought pharmaceutical biotechnology would be really helpful which it is there's lots of like search opportunities available here but not drug research as much because there is lots for that you have to give your state states exam in pharmacy because they need like you know you have to have C1 German for that you have to have to give the states exam basically which kind of differs from what I had <laughs> planned so that's about where that's at but there's lots of good opportunities here for sure so if you look at the job market what are the three areas which are absolutely killing it killing in a good way in a good yes. way not in a bad yeah, yeah. way green resource management that is one the other would be agricultural and third would be like biochemistry and industrial have yeah. you met your alumni I mean a few of them because yeah. uh, people I've met that like you know have graduated are like, usually like working as PhD students under like you know professors around or like you know just working around here mostly. So people eventually go into academia like PhD, postdoc, yeah. all of that. So they go into PhD because they want to have a doctorate to right. work as their own like with, the, with their own research fields. Okay, okay. That's mostly what they like you know aspire to do. Right. So let's take a step back and mm. introduce okay. yourself. Talk a little bit about what bachelors have you done? What sort of work experience if you have any? What was your bachelors grade? Mm. All of that. So my bachelors was in biotechnology. I did that for three years in Mumbai in India. I do not have job experience because I passed out at like the very end of COVID period. So I didn't really have much of, you know, like of time frame for like getting some job experience after that. My grade in bachelor's was 9.22 CGPA. Thanks to COVID or what? No, 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 not thanks to COVID. <laughs> All my exams were offline. All my exams were offline. Okay, I had okay. to go into class. I've was... met people, that's why. They were like, thanks to COVID, I got 9.6, which I would have never imagined in my life. I was like, okay. I mean, no, I was doing pretty well even before COVID and okay, like okay. my classes were online, but then we had to give our uh, practicals and our like you know all of our exams in person so that kind of became a wow and then after that I gave my IELTS in which I scored 8.5 can we talk a little bit about which all universities did you apply so I applied what to what course I applied to Martin Luther University for pharmaceutical industrial biotechnology molecular cell biology as well Tubingen for medical informatics so University of Würzburg for like a few courses infection biology and other right. a few like and I applied to a few others which I'm kind of and how many you got selected so I got selected in just two. I didn't really go very far with my applications. And your total applications were? Five. People with 9.2. Yeah, surprising. But no, I didn't get apply. Get rejected. <gasps> Grades is not everything. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I didn't apply to that many because for my application was like a very big zigzag because I applied first in summer of 2023. I got an admit from University of Tubingen for Medical Informatics, but there was the whole issue with APS because my APS came exactly one month later than my final application date for tubing <laughs> and you lost that yeah can we talk a little bit about specializations in this course first you can opt to do your doctorate you can do your PhD under somebody you can in intern and you know, get experience you can work in uh, research labs you can work in, in, in the industrial sector you can work in you know many basically there's lots of there's lots of aspects to be honest right. yeah did you do your own application yeah can you guide others how to write a good SOP I would say like what exactly why do you want to apply here what you have done and what you actually want to achieve would be like a very good base to start off from but other than that I think you should first give a layout as, a, as with everything you write give a good layout of what you actually want to cover in your SOP and then don't jump from topic to topic because mm -hmm. and keep it concise don't make it into like a full three page 
essay. Keep it concise, so like one or two pages max. How many LORs did you give? Three. Where did you take that? From my college. Wow. So when you look at your classmates, I mean, you shared your plan already. When you sit with your peers and friends, mm -hmm. what sort of career they want to have after they graduate? Others that I have spoken to want to go into protein research and production of proteins and all of that. But others actually want to do a PhD after this. Yeah. They want to work with most of our professors. Like both because most of our professors are not actually professors. They're not teachers. They are actually uh, researchers uh -huh. who come to teach us about what actually goes on in their labs and like, you know, what's basically, you know, the know-how on different topics. But they have a PhD degree. Of course. Most oh, of no. them. Okay. Cool. All right. What's your last message to all those students who are watching us right now? I would say make up your mind, first of all, because this is not an easy path in any in any, any case of the word, especially coming from somebody who had never lived away from home. So this was like from into the from the from into the fire directly, just like off the deep end. So it was like a lot of things all at once. So you have to just take it day by day. Don't judge yourself. Give yourself some uh, kindness and grace because it is going to be tough adjusting the first few months, especially if you come during the winter time because yeah. of seasonal depression and everything. But I would say that it it can give you it, it can give you a lot of like good opportunities to like you know find your freedom find like what actually you know helps you in your career path forward and like lots of other good aspects as well okay cool with that being said i think we are at the end of this video if you have made it till here hit that thumbs up button and do make sure that you check the description of this video and i'll see you guys next time bye